Hello, welcome, welcome to, to the graduated, graduated voice updates. updates. Be ready for the real tea. Details to tell. Well, in the trending topic right now, let's say it's a win for the president that is president william ruto or rather we can say it's a win for the government as the court of appeal temporarily lifts order suspending finance act 2023 yeah you have me right this is something that has been talked about for the longest time now but now the court the court of appeal has finally made its ruling Well, the Court of Appeal lifted the conservatory orders barring the implementation of the controversial Finance Act 2023. This is something that we can term to be a major win for President William Ruto and his government, the operations and all, whereby the Appellate Court ruled that the government who appealed the suspension through the Treasury Cabinet Secretary Njogo Nandogu has satisfied the twin principles to warrant the grant of the orders sought. Just to read part of what the order, the ruling, read rather, quotations, we are persuaded that the applicants have satisfied the twin principles for the grant of the orders sought, and that public interest tilts in favor of setting aside the conservatory orders by, tri by the trial judge, end of quotation. The court did not fail to quote the consequences that will come if a ruling is not made as soon as possible, whereby they stated that there will be a serious irreversible economic consequence if the state if the stay, the stay of the conservatory orders is not granted. The three judges led by Mohammed Warsami, Kadurima Minoti, and Helen Omondi stated that the appeal will be heard and determined within 60 days. Yeah, in 60 days, that is like, let's say it is three months, not two, in two months time. Well, the High Court on June 30th suspended the implementation of the Finance Act 2023 pending the dissemination of a petition filed by Senator Okia Omtata and six other activists. According to a majority, they had felt like this is finally a win for the people with uh, everyone giving praises to the senator but let's wait for the 60 days and hear what the appeal once the appeal is heard what step will be taken next Well, the Treasury Cabinet Secretary, Professor Njogun Andogu, moved to the Court of Appeal, arguing the suspension is affecting the government operation, something that can be stated to be somewhat true or not. But you can tell me what to take on that in the comment section. I remember that you should make... <laughs> you should not. It's not a much, but still. You can choose to actually just subscribe so that you do not miss on any trending topics and the latest updates on these. We have different netizens reacting to this particular case and uh, someone here is stating that Kitawa Ramba. Well, well, Kitawa Ramba. Well, remember that you can also tell me what to take on this particular case in the comments section. Let's look at someone else. Here, this guy is stating, they know it's end month now. They are lifting suspension so that they can deduct as housing levy where well, the shit is focusing on the houses guys remember you have to pay for that housing levy but let's see let's wait and see uh another person here is stating very good baba chana namanda mano kabisa kakwako and relax to indeleku rambaka because you keep on fighting for people and they never appreciate this one is basically just looking at what baba has been doing for the longest time now for some days now despite the fact that this week the mandamanos have been kept uh at halt <laughs> aside so that we can pray for the country mourn condole with those who lost their lives for the sake of other kenyans well let's uh, look at someone else right here why is uhuru kenyatta funding judiciary to oppress kenyans <laughs> dynasty is marched fall basically nowadays we have seen it uh, most people are actually blaming uhuru kenyatta that is the former president of the republic of kenya for every bad thing that is happening the other day when we had the kplc the Mpesa down the e citizen down everyone stated that it was a majority rather stated that it was uhuru kenyatta who had actually funded this particular incident but how true was that 
someone here, someone else here stating the earlier determination didn't make any sense after all. Because of what importance was it when KK government disobeyed the order and went ahead to its full implementation while well, everyone is having a different look at this particular case. Let's see what this person is stating. Court of Appeal lifts suspension of the implementation of the Finance Act 2023. The order made on July 10, 2023, suspending the Finance Act 2023 and the order prohibiting the implementation of the Finance Act 2023 B and E is hereby lifted pending the hearing and determination of the appeal. appeal. Yeah, just we as just just as we stated, sorry for that, just as we stated, it is pending the hearing just the determination of the pearl but with the way things are the chances are high that you know let's just wait and listen i don't know what to take on that you can talk to me in the comment section another person here is stating very sober judgment from the mature and more reasonable court of appeal this person basically is agreeing with this with this decision stating that it is good it is okay while others are against this we, we always have those who are agreeing with it okay another one here is stating that thing in 60 days as a whole will be pronounced null and void i don't know null and void that's his take on to on to someone else's comment those who voted for william ruto and his government are once crying and shouting how the court of appeal has lifted the suspension of the finance bill it is time to pay for your sins don't disturb us in in azimio president uhuru kenyatta warned kenyans by saying we will miss him oh basically this person is like mm, 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 mm. what to azimio mkai ah uh, what to akinya kwanza mkai huko let's see people reacting to his comments uh the this person here is like how did you measure it we didn't see anyone cry not unless if you process a measuring machine that one feels attacked eh? another one right here is like that's uncritical and political banditry how do you expect them to meet their financial obligations and still massage your egos the interventions in the finance act 2023 are obviously nothing to smell about a small tax net tax nets are owing there's not much options what another one is like miss uhuru for what benefits basically this person doesn't support uhuru at all they feel like uhuru did nothing for the nation for the past 10 years and someone else is disagreeing is like and we really do miss him yeah some people do miss him we are told not everyone is gonna love you another one is like exactly well who is crying personally i am happy watch a kuambia ukweli uh -huh. okay another person let's just see someone else right here those demonstrating and shot on the street the streets are kenya kwanza just but a question i don't know what to take on this but let's wait for the 60 days how well will this thing work out will it affect the finances will it even improve anything for kenyans tell me what you think about it in the comment section and remember if it's happening and all about it and if i know all about it i will tell you all about it so you can choose to like this video shit out there subscribe to get the realty details to tell